Now let's take a look at thermocouples. They're a little more complicated to use, but they have a few more advantages. Today we're going to be looking at this AD8495 breakout board from Adafruit with a K-type thermocouple. Now the big difference is these type of thermocouples, you can see the end here, quite small encased in glass, can measure a much larger range from about negative 25 degrees C to about 700 degrees C. So unlike other thermometers and thermistors, you have a much wider range and it's also a lot more accurate. So we're gonna hook this one up today. I'm gonna to bind it up here a little bit just to keep this together. Very simple for hooking up. Let's take a look. We'll start with our breadboard. If you look at this board on here, you basically have two grounds, a voltage, and a signal out. Now, why I'm showing you this one, there are digital versions of this that give you a digital feedback. This one's analog, and what's interesting about it, or what I find interesting, is that you can almost use this standalone without a microcontroller. This outputs between zero and five volts or zero and 3.3 .3 volts in an analog fashion. So you could almost, with very little extra materials or very little extra electronics, connect this to say a multimeter and have no microcontroller. But you can also use a very simple analog read to see what's coming out of the thermocouple. So let's wire this up. Put it right here on the breadboard and just a couple of wires and we'll be ready to go. First one I'm going to do here is positive five volts. Attach that to my Arduino. Now this one, if you read the documentation, you can actually connect it to five volts or 3.3 .3 volts and that changes the range that it can read. And then I have a ground here that I'll put onto a ground rail. I have another ground over here on pin three that I'll put to the ground rail. And then I'll take my ground rail and connect that to a ground on the Arduino. And then I have the signal wire, the analog voltage out, and I'm just going to leave that open for now so we can take a look at the code. And we have to hook up this thermocouple. So there's two little leads right here. If you hook them up backwards, you'll get negative readings. If you hook them up the proper way you'll get positive readings, not a big deal to switch them. Let me go ahead and find a screwdriver. Here we go. And attach these. The wires, if you can see, are really short to connect. So guess what I'm gonna do? I'm going to take two male to male jumper wires. Put them in there. Okay, there's one. And two, now those are really secure. And I'll put those into my breadboard. And then these look like they're long enough on this end to actually get into a breadboard. If I just sneak them in right next to, yeah, that's making a connection now. So there we go. It's all hooked up except for our data pin. So let's take a look at code. We'll open up the Arduino IDE and we will go to examples, analog, input. Now this example we looked at earlier connects a potentiometer to an LED pin. So what I'm gonna do is go through and get rid of the LED pin, but keep the analog read. And let's get rid of everything that has to do with the LED pin. Let's check that. Done. So what the, what the code right now does is it has a sensor pin attached to analog zero and a sensor value is declared as zero as a holding place. Then once it gets into the loop, we want it to print out some information. So to do that, we can do serial dot print sensor value equals leave a little space there and I put sensor value equals in quotes because we want it to actually print that 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 actual characters those words and then we can have serial print ln and what that does is 
it's going to print serial value equal, and now we want the actual value, but we want to do a return, a, a new line after we print the value. So we want sensor value. And the only other thing we need to do is in our setup, we need to start the serial communications. So all we have to do is go serial dot begin and a speed, we'll do 9600. Let's verify the code. Now let's plug in our Arduino and we go to tools. We have the right board and we don't have a port yet. We'll come up in a second. And there it is, Arduino, we're good. Let's upload it. See over here, it's communicating. It's already done, it's such a small little program. And there's our sensor value, 272. Now what you do with that value, you can map it, you can scale it, you can change how many uh, decimal places or its accuracy. Um, really, it's up to you. I'm just showing you the basics of hooking it up.